Hey, so what's going on everyone? Got a video here to share with all of you on how you can transfer your photos and your videos from your iPhone over to a USB flash drive. So you went on vacation or something, you took a lot of photos and videos and they're on your iPhone. I'll show you how to manually copy them over to the USB flash drive. So right now though, I'm using a Windows 10 desktop computer. Uh, you can also do this with a laptop. The screen that you're looking at right now, and I'll zoom in here a couple times throughout the video, is what's called devices and drives. So what you need to do is be able to open this window up. Now, if you're kind of new to some of this and you don't know how to get to this window, I do it by clicking on this icon over here called this PC. In order to get that icon up on your desktop, what you wanna do is go to a plain area on your screen and you wanna right click and go to personalize. You're gonna get this pop up here and you wanna go down where it says themes. Choose themes and then over here on the right, you choose desktop icon settings and that gives you this screen. So in order to get that little box, a uh, little this PC icon on the desktop there, check mark that and click apply and then click OK. You should see this little guy pop up on your screen. So then once you do that, you will be able to go over to this and click that. And what I went through all that for is because now what we're gonna do is you take your iPhone and you're gonna go ahead and use the USB cable that comes with it. Plug the other end into one of the USB ports on your computer, doesn't matter which one. Go ahead and plug that in. And you might get a notification, um, says trust this computer, that's fine too. But what you're looking for is this pop up here to pop up, or if nothing pops up, I'm gonna close out of this. You should see it now show up in here. Right here now it says Apple iPhone. And then what you do is you go ahead and double click that. You should be able to go in here to your internal storage if you get this far and you guys are like, hey, this is empty uh, and I know I have stuff on my phone, I do have other videos showing how to fix that issue and I'll, I can always add those links in the description. So you can always leave comments, I check my comments. But if you can get this far, you can go in here to the DCIM folder and Double, and the one might say 100 Apple, double click that. But here should be all your videos and stuff like that, like your, your photos and your videos. What you need to do now is go ahead and double click on this PC, this icon again, and you wanna bring up a second window. Cause now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our flash drive and we're gonna plug that in to another USB port right next to where I plug the iPhone in. And you should see that pop up down there, which it did. Show you guys, it's right here now. On this little tabs up here, you can choose home. You can click select all, or if you don't, if you don't want to select all, you can simply like down here in this like little white area. If you left click the mouse and hold it down, you can drag this blue box over top to highlight everything. It's the same difference as select all. And then what you want to do is right click while they're all selected and choose copy. So then once you do that, you're going to come over to this one here, while well, your USB flash drive and you're gonna double click it and it should be empty in there and then all you need to do is uh, right click on the mouse right in here in the white area and choose paste. And that should move your files over to your USB flash drive. So once it finally is done copying them over to your flash drive, you should be able to click on them and view the files. Now you can remove your drive and share it with your friends, give your flash drive to somebody or whatever, and they should be able to plug it in their computer and view the files. One thing I wanna point out is something a little further here. I'm gonna zoom in here and show you. On my screen, you'll notice that I have like .jpg, .heic. So up here at the top where it says manage and drive tools, if you go over here to where it says view, click the view tab, Come over to options and in here, what you wanna do is go down here where it says hide extensions for known file types. If I actually click that and click apply, you'll notice they are gone. So I don't know what file types I'm dealing with. So you, what you wanna do is uncheck that, click apply, and then you can see what you're dealing with here. One thing I did for you guys real, you know, to add into this tutorial was I took three videos and three pictures of incompatibility comp mode and then I took three pictures and three videos in HEVC and HEIC. You might run into an issue, like you might try and click on one of these. Let me zoom out. And your friend or somebody might get something like that. We can't open this file. Or you might try and click on the move.mov file and it wants you to install the HEVC. That is because, and I'll show you on the iPhone right now what I'm talking about. So when you actually go into your iPhone, you go into settings and you scroll down to where you find the little camera app and you go ahead and select that. 
there's formats right here you can choose. If you look down here in the list a little bit, it says formats under where that little toggle is that says record stereo sound. Choose formats and in here, you're gonna see it says camera capture, high efficiency and most compatible. High efficiency is going to be something newer that we're gonna use in the future. It'll probably become more common and I'll show you why here in a second. Most compatible is what I use. That way I know if I have that one check marked, then everything is going to be compatible if I share it or anything like that. Again, high efficiency is HEVC and that's a uh, H.265. What that is is a good thing because it allows your file size to be smaller, but it's not always compatible with everybody's stuff yet, and that can be confusing to people. So know what format you're in when you're, you know, taking photos and videos. You got to make sure you know which one you're in there, and then that will explain sometimes why things don't actually work you know when you click on them on the computer so let me jump back over to the computer here this one that says move at dot mov i know that that's h.264 so i'm going to click that my mom was playing the piano and messing around there those ones open up fine i did these ones particularly in the hevc thing because you know i want to show you guys the difference with all that if you do end up recording in heic and hevc and they won't open i'm going to put two links in the description for you guys that you can click to go get both of those codecs. It'll take you right to Microsoft's official page and you can download the codec right onto your computer. And then these files will actually open up and work. So if you, you know, end up taking your videos and pictures in this particular format and you do give this to a friend, you're gonna have to tell your friend what to do in order to play those movies and see those pictures. And one more thing I wanna point out before I go, the, these ones at the top that come down to about here, I took in compatibility mode. I know they're different pictures and all, and different. it's gonna be a different size, but they're larger. These files are much larger than the ones that were taken in HEIC and HEVC. You can see down here the file sizes. So that is kind of the idea behind HEVC uh, H.265 as compared to H.264. I hope this video was somewhat helpful and informative. It's good to understand what's going on with your, you know, formats that you're recording out on the iPhone now and if you're sharing these with friends and family or whatever. Thanks a lot guys for watching. If this video helped you out a little bit, hit the like button, consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.